Hello, Sycamore Junior High, and happy Thursday, April 7th, 2022, and welcome to this merged episode of our daily video announcements. We apologize that we did not send out yesterday's important announcements, and they will be merged into today's episode, or you can conveniently subscribe to our Sycamore Junior High School News Crew YouTube channel, or visit our channel for Wednesday's independent episode. I'm Hanin. Hello, I'm Ava, and yes, happy fr Friday Eve. Thanks so much for your understanding, and just a reminder, with the new software on our very old equipment, it takes much longer to render our videos. So until we receive our newer equipment, don't expect the video announcements to be out before 12.30 on our normal scheduled days, unless we forget to hit send on the email, of course. I'm Khadija. Yes, happy day, hello. I'm Nikolai, and let's all please unite and honor our free America by standing and placing our hand over our heart to say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. Okay, today's air test taking tip is how to tackle test anxiety. Use steady breathing and relax your muscles. Before the test, take a few moments to close your eyes and... Hey, try this with me. <laughs> take slow, steady breaths to calm your nerves. Stay relaxed and confident. Breathing evenly and slowly can help your body relax and stay focused. It is easy to tense up in situations of stress. Relax your face and release the tension, then move from head to toe. Give yourself a nice stretch prior to testing getting started. Oh. You're not supposed to fall asleep. No, that, that, okay. Oh, whoops, that is very helpful. It really works. Well, you're not supposed to fall asleep, silly. Anyways, just get more oxygen to your brain and relax and calm your nerves. The more oxygen in your blood flow helps your brain function better. Okay, in addition to these test-taking strategies, we also need to be aware of our bee sycamore testing expectations. We need to be safe, be a problem solver, be resp responsible, and be respectful. Yes, we need to give our best effort, use scrap paper for planning and solving problems, take our time and check our work before we submit our test, and make sure to have silent reading material to read after we complete our test. Yes, and another message from our counselors, we only have a few days before Monday's air test, and here's another test taking tip. Plan to finish early and have time for review. Proofread your work and pay attention to any errors you have made. Return to the difficult questions you marked for review. Make sure you answer all the questions you have skip during the test and don't be concerned about the other students in the class when they finish pace yourself yes do your best and now tuesday's results today's daily survey so yesterday's survey asked if you prefer to watch sports in person or on tv and it looks like 59 percent of you prefer to watch sports in person and only 41 percent of you prefer to watch sports on tv personally i like to watch sports in person don't forget to check out today's daily survey posted on the Google Classroom. The results for the survey will be shared tomorrow. Today's daily survey. So yesterday's survey asked if you thought we should have an end of the year blooper reel with the best bloopers from the entire year. And it looks like 80% of you do want us to have a big blooper reel at the end of the year. Did you catch that news crew? We need a blooper reel. Today's survey was brought to us by an by an 8th grader who wanted people's opinion about a topic that she will be debating in language arts class. So make sure to go fill that out. Next up, today's birthdays in addition to yesterday's birthdays. Happy birthday to Casey M and LOW. We hope you have a wonderful day to celebrate in yesterday's birthdays. Happy birthday to Annalise B, Owen C, Joanna J, Colin M, Isaac M, and Cameron S. We hope you have a wonderful day to celebrate. Now over to our wonderful and magnificent Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your video announcements on this rainy, rainy, ugh, Wednesday. All right, just a couple reminders. We the people, remember your big competition is coming up this Friday. All right, make sure you get your paperwork turned into Miss Carter in the Media Center. You will be meeting tomorrow morning to do some practicing and everything, but you guys should have met with your people through this week, all right? 7 o'clock a.m. is the time you're reporting on Friday. Bring money for breakfast and some games to share while you guys have a little downtime. And, again, dress to impress. And, finally, last call for yearbook. April 15th is your final deadline to get your Sycamore Junior High yearbook. All right. 
There's your link to get that stuff. Check that out. Get that yearbook. If you've got questions, see Mrs. Spielman. Remember, April 15th is the last day to guarantee you'll get a Sycamore Junior High yearbook. That is it for me. I am out. See you guys tomorrow. Peace. Now, Mr. Wavercombe with an important announcement. Good morning, students. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I uh, just want to come and give you some reminders about testing next week. So this is the time of the year where you get an opportunity to show everybody else what you've learned so far this year and gain some valuable experience for high school and, of course, exams, SAT, ACT, any college entrance exams as you move forward. So you will be taking English language arts air assessments next Monday and Tuesday, the 11th and 12th, math the following week, Tuesday, Wednesday, 19th and 20th, and 8th graders will take science on the 27th. Uh, which is Wednesday of the following week. So on those days, we're going to run an adjusted bell schedule. And in preparation of testing, I need to remind you guys of a few things. First off, try to get the best night's sleep that you can. Uh, key to success is having a great night's sleep the day before testing. Get a good breakfast, or if you can't get one before the bus or car ride, remember, get one here at school, and that can be done in the cafeteria or by the gym. Please try to arrive every day on time uh, so you can get to your testing location quickly and uh, before testing begins. Next, please arrive every day with your Chromebook and that Chromebook should be charged. So when you go home at night, plug it in, charge it, make sure it's ready to go. If you would, please leave your electronic devices in your locker or at home that day. You can't have a cell phone or a smartwatch on your body during testing. We'll ask you to take those off. Uh, you can't have that. Is it a testing security issue? Bring a pair of earbuds, not AirPods, earbuds with a cord. Those have to be corded so we can plug into your computer so you'll have the option to listen to questions and text read aloud. They must have a cord. You cannot use Apple AirPods with Bluetooth uh, for testing security. Eighth graders will be able to use TI-30X2 calculators on the math test. And again, do your best. Take your time. You'll have plenty of time to complete the test, and we want you to do your best. So again, testing starts on Monday. Come with those Chromebooks ready to go. Charge and make sure you bring them as we have a limited number of loaners, and we should be good to go. I know you'll do your best. I believe in you. Believe in yourselves. Have a good one. Thanks. Over to Lily with the Pets of the Week. Hello, and welcome to the Pet of the Week segment. This week's pets are Rosalie, submitted by Eric W., Annie and Raisin, submitted by Brianna S., and Prince, submitted by Yasmin F. Okay, this week we won't have a pet guest because of technical difficulties. Anyway, this week we're featuring an adorable six-year-old English bulldog named Maggie. Maggie is good with kids, other dogs, and cats. Maggie is also house trained and crate trained. If you're interested in adopting Maggie, check out Pet Finder or contact Queen City Bulldog Rescue. Let us know if you adopt any of our featured pets. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Next we have Nikolai and Ollie's top 10 list. I'm Nikolai. And I'm Ollie. And this week we are doing something different. This one is the one you have all been waiting for. We ask you which fast food places are your favorite, and we have made our first opinionated top 10. Enjoy. Let's start with number 10. At number 10, we have Papa John's with 38 votes. To be honest, I think Domino's is better. Yeah, same. At number 9, we have Subway with 39 votes. At number 8, we have Wendy's with 45 votes. Panera Bread is at 7th place with 46 votes. This is an interesting top 10. Yep, at 6th place, McDonald's with 48 votes. Auntie Anne's is at 5th place with 56 votes. Next, at 4th place, is Dunkin' Donuts, which got 61 votes. Here's the top 3. Drum roll, please. Number 3, Chipotle, 67 votes. Number, at number two, we have Starbucks with 68 votes. And number one, we got Chick-fil-A, 87 votes. That is not surprising. Yeah, I saw it coming as well. All right, well, there you guys have it. And that was top 10. See you all next week with another top 10. Bye. What's for lunch today? For lunch, we will have French toast. We, we will also serve chicken patties. Oh, these air test tips are helpful, but not just for taking the air test. Yeah, I bet you can use some of them in any situation that you need to calm down. I might just use those tips tonight while trying to fall asleep. Now for the joke of the day. Why are skeletons so calm?
I don't know. Why? Because nothing gets under their skin. <laughs> Go, Go Waves! Go Waves! Go waves.